Hey everyone, so this video today is to get you up in the knowledge, basic knowledge of a new drawing technique called oblique drawing. Um, now specifically, oblique drawing is a new 3D method that we're going to learn. Um, where we're drawing something uh, from a front a view of the object and taking some lines directly back at a 45 degree angle. Now I'm going to show you how this works with a basic shape. Uh, my basic shape in this case is going to be a 100mm square cube. All right. So as you can see, I've got my drawing board set up. I've got my ta corners taped down. I've got my T-square on my drawing board. The other tool I'll be using apart from the pencil is my 45 degree set square. All right. To start off with, what I need to do is draw the front face of the object I'm drawing. Now as I said, mine was a 100mm cube. So I'll start off by marking out a cube, which is 100mm. Alright, this is a fairly simple task. In my case, I can see I've got my 30 and my 20 on my T-square, so I'm going to go with that. Alright, I'm going to mark the base of my square here. Right, I'm going to come up from that, mark the two sides. And at this point, essentially I could can be using uh, my construction lines. You can see mine's probably a little bit darker than a construction line right now, but still suitable. So I'm going to move it down. Just to that corner, I'm going to mark the side here. Alright, still a construction line. And this side here. Alright, now I can go ahead and mark the top of this one. Let's move my T square into position. And go ahead and mark that line. Right, so we've got the front face of my cube. Now, in order to make it 3D, I'm going to go back from my cube. Now normally, uh, when we're doing oblique projection, which is what it's called, or oblique drawing, we're going to go out to the right hand side up the top. Uh, we don't go down, we don't go to the left at all, we tend to go right hand upwards. Uh, and what we're going to be doing in this case is two types of oblique projection. One we're going to be doing today is what we call a cabinet projection. Now this one looks a little bit more lifelike, and the reason it does is because when we draw the 3D section back here, we don't go the full 100mm back. If we do that, it starts to look a bit unrealistic. So I'm going to start off by drawing some construction lines in with my 45 degree square here. So stuff against my T-square and going back at my 45 degree angle, just some construction lines so I can come back to the correct length. Now the oblique projection is here to draw an object at its full size, so we do need to make sure we're drawing things to a dimension. Things that you start to see now that it's starting to look a little bit 3D. Now in order to draw it so that it doesn't look unrealistic, we're only going to draw half the distance that it goes back. So I'm only going to draw 50mm back in this case. That's what we call a cabinet oblique projection. So I've marked my 50mm spot on the side there. And now I'm going to take that one up vertically to the back like that. At this point remember just the construction line. Now I'll go up to the top there and I'm going to take the line across the top here. So moving it up to where it crosses over and marking it across. Now at this point now I can start to darken my lines. Now that I've finished my construction lines I'm just going to take my T-square and darken them. Taking my time to do not a neat job, not rushing, and keeping on task and getting it done nice and quickly. As you can see, I'm going and I'm picking one type of line, in this case my horizontal lines, and I'm going to do them all at once. Rather than chopping and changing between my set square and my T square, if I do it this way, I can get through it much quicker. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my verticals. So I set my T square, take my 45 degree set square, see I'm not quite square right now. Put that there. Alright, I'm go ahead and do all my verticals now. Alright, so essentially I'm doing like a process of operations where I keep to the same process at the same time. Go ahead and do all those, and now I can do my 45s as well. So 
Finishing off those 45s now. And we have my completed oblique projection. Alright, at this point now I could put dimensions on this as well. So if I wanted to put my dimension on the front here, I'd pick how far out I want to make it. So I'm going to start that. In this case I'm going to decide that I want my 5mm out from there. Make that small mark. 5mm out from the side as well. And 5mm back here. So this will give me the depth as well as the height and width of my block. So construction line first for all these lines as we would normally do. And then we go ahead and we mark in the dimensions. So it's a slightly darker line, but not as dark as my visible lines here. Alright, just to mark in where my dimensions are coming from. Okay, same on my 45 degree here. So I'm flipping the 45 degree the other way now. Just got one more to do, which I'm going to use my vertical. Before I do that, I'm just going to finish off this 45. Move my T-square up. I'm just going to go ahead and put this one in here. Now I can finish off that upright one. Center line, that one. Just erasing my construction lines now. Make my drawing nice and neat. You can see I've gone a little bit over here, so I'll just touch that up. You can see how if they're nice light lines, they re erase quite easily. Right, so there's my oblique projection, cabinet oblique projection of a cube. Thanks for watching, guys.